YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to Bananas Epic Gaming. It's been Bananas Epic Gaming. We are going to do a Jeepers Creepers Reborn review. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but I didn't really talk about it in the ranking, so I'm going to do a review on it. So please be sure to like and subscribe. Tap the little bell on my YouTube app so you never miss an upload. And this is coming out after I watched the movie and the ranking I filmed before I did the uh, watch of the movie. So, this is my thoughts after the movie, the ranking I filmed before the movie came out. And here we go. So now I'm just going to break down the plot and let go over some stuff that I noticed, some stuff I like and didn't like, and then go over my overall thoughts. So the plot of this movie is The Creeper Returns after a 23 year slumber, which is believed, because I'm pretty sure that this movie takes place immediately after part two, but we didn't see the old man. So, so the creeper returned to terrorize the whore hound attendees, which is like the Comic Con whore, who, when a chance to enter a creeper themed escape room in a supposedly haunted house. Now, that's the plot of the movie. I have always thought that The Creeper was a fantastic monster movie because the first movie is untouchable. That's all I'm going to say about that because the director and his choices and what he did, I don't, nobody supports. But they. Could have done a lot better in this movie. But back to what I was saying, that had a lot of great potential, the Creeper did, to be a new genre icon, to be up there with Freddy, Michael, Jason, Pinhead, Leatherface. But the Jeepers Creepers franchise is a difficult one to support for various reasons, and it has to do with. The old director. Now, Jeepers Creepers, the opening to this one is just like the opening to the original one, but the difference is this one is like an unsolved mysteries. It shows like an elder couple who sees the creeper on the road, they encounter him, and they see him dumping a body down the pipe. And it's not Colin's eight siblings, but it's the elder couple that went missing. And it's showing uh, what happened to them, or what people think happened to them. It's basically, like I said, an unsolved mysteries. The Creeper, at this point in the franchise, he's a well-known urban legend. It's said that the creature appears in certain parts of Louisiana every 23 years for 23 days on the 23rd spring and proceeds to wreak havoc and kill a bunch of people for the period of 23 days and devour human body parts to replace its own. Now, as a fellow actor, I'm not going to completely shit on a character per trail but Jonathan Breck you can tell that it was a new actor just the height and the way the creeper looks Jonathan Breck is the creeper and I think if they actually do make a fifth one they should try and get him back I know that then people will compare to the other directors but this one felt a little off. I feel like it was a cosplayer because it. We know that the creeper is tall. That's just my little two cents on the creeper. And the look of the creeper looked weird. He looked. It looked like a fan-made uh, costume. The, the mask and the body. It, it looked it looked weird. I know that they filmed this during uh, the pandemic, so I'll give them that much slack because I know it was hard to do stuff 
and it still is hard to do stuff. But it just felt a little off to me. Now we're going to transition from the docu series to the people that are watching the docu series, or the person that was watching the docu series, who is Chase, and the other person is Lane. Chase and Lane are going to the Horicon. Chase is going to propose, and Lane is pregnant. That's their two big things in this movie. Around this time frame, while the Creeper is being reborn, he's waking up, and then we meet the first victim, which is one of Lane's good friends who's meeting them around 15 minutes in, and then Lane and Chase, they go to a sidekick, and the sidekick is a part of the Creeper cult, and Lane does a cosplay dress show. She plays arguably a decent looking Harley Quinn in my opinion. <laughs> From here they go to the Horror Fest and they win a raffling to get to the Creeper escape room. And then we also meet the next victim who's somebody that works in the Horror Fest. Here we get to know a little more people from, that work in the horror hound community. Carrie, Jamie, and Stu. They are the ones that are going to be taking the couple, Lane and Chase, to the Creeper escape room. And from here we see the Creeper uh, start to stalk Lane and Chase, watching them from the distance and in the shadows. So he's like walking around at the horror hound festival. He also goes to where Lane and Chase were throwing the, star, the stars of the Creeper handmade at a dummy and he threw them and he took them. I'm 50-50 on that because I don't think the Creeper should be walking around out in the open like that because if he's an urban legend, yes, he can pass it off as being a cosplayer, but what are the odds of that happening? And, in this universe. Fast forward a little while later, we are at the Creeper uh, escape room. We had more off screen deaths. We had the camera guy get killed off screen. And we see and learn that they have brought vo Voodoo in, and this is where it starts to say that, okay, he's 100% demonic. I. I'm not personally a fan of them putting that in because we all knew that he was something better to lead more to the imagination in my mind. Oh, I forgot. I left something out. In between us on our way to the escape room and the us learning that he's officially demonic because of the creeper cult, black cult, voodoo magic. Lane got taken in the middle of a proposal, so that happened, and during the whole spew on Creeper being demonic and all that, we also learned that Derry was cursed. Derry was just Long's character in the first one. So from here, nothing really important happens after a while, they learn that they are being trapped, they got set up, and... The next big thing that happens is Carrie's death. Carrie, she got her hair ripped out. The creeper sniffed it, killed her, and ate her brain. She got like one of the most brutal deaths I would say in the movie, and that's one of the most memorable deaths in the series in my mind. So after Carrie's death, we get reunited with Lane, with Chase, and Stu, and Jamie. Jamie dies, and the group manages to escape, and Stu and Chase go up to the roof and throw a pipe down the creeper's throat, killing the creeper, and the crows get summoned. Stu falls off, presumably to his death, we don't know, and Lane and Chase manage to escape. As the cops arrive, because Chase called him earlier in the film, I did mention that because it 
it wasn't anything of importance really because they thought it was a joke but we see the creeper eating somebody because that's the last shot of the movie and the creeper is alive overall Jupe's Creepers is reborn yes I was nice when I put it in front of the third film, spoiler, because the ranking comes out next after this on Cavesoft. But Jupiter's Creepers 4 is not any better, in my mind. They could have easily done a tremendous job if they would have had more time and the pandemic didn't happen and limit them to what they wanted to do. But Jupiter's Creepers 4, aka Jupiter's Creepers Reborn, you can tell that Jonathan Breck is a big part of this franchise because he makes the creeper for what it is. And if they do make a fifth one, I hope that they take their time and they make it a better movie because the third and fourth one have basically ruined the franchise. Because Jeepers Creepers Reborn has in some interesting moments with the uh, Gaki series and Carrie's death and the horror hound that was a good idea but overall it didn't save this movie thank you guys for watching please be sure to like and subscribe tap the little bell on my youtube app so you guys never miss an upload and I will be seeing you guys in the next one so, I just want to say that I'll give this movie a watchable, but if you're not going to watch all the other ones, don't watch this one. Alright guys, take care.